So here we have um, parsley, and in one meter square we can have uh, 52 plants, which is uh, just amazing. And uh, you can smell it, but the flavor on this little leaf is just uh, exploding, is uh, amazing, fantastic. Welcome to Italy's first vertical aeroponic tower farm. This aeroponic farm is known as Easy Peasy and is located in northern Italy on the property of Casa Clelia, where not only do they offer farm stay accommodations, but they offer delicious, sustainable, homemade meals using freshly harvested ingredients from their tower farm. And right now, we're gonna meet the owners of this amazing tower farm and get to know them a little bit more. Hi, it's Eleonora. Uh, I'm the owner of uh, Casa Clelia and we're here in our tower farm, which is uh, easy peasy. And thank you for coming and see us. It's very uh, a pleasure for us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having us. My name's Alex. I'm English, but married Ellie and moved to Italy. And uh, yeah, here we are in our tower farm. Well, this tower farm here looks absolutely amazing. And how many towers do you have? And what's the total planting capacity of this farm? So we have 50, 50 towers and uh, we're up to 3,600 plants in total. We are a 112 uh, square greenhouse and the, the towers are just uh, 50 meters square. Incredible, yeah. so many plants in such a small amount of space. Exactly. So what were you guys doing before you moved to Italy and became tower farmers? Um, so before we, we came here to take on Ella's family business, we were, we were working in, um, in events in southern Spain, uh, setting up stages, lights, sound, uh, all that sort of stuff. Incredible. So you had no previous experience in agriculture? Uh, no, not a lot. Wow. <laughs> Have you found it difficult to manage a tower farm uh, without any previous experience in agriculture? It's, uh, I've actually shocked myself. Uh, how uh, how easy it was to build this and the results that have come from it without any previous knowledge uh, at all. And obviously you guys know what you're doing just by the results of your tower farm here. Uh, what made you want to become a tower farmer? So we have a, um, we have a restaurant here in the Agriturismo. All right. And we supply the vegetables for the restaurant. Brilliant. And um, with growing organically in the ground, we weren't having uh, amazing results. We're losing a lot of crop to, to insects and, and weather problems and all the rest of it. So we were looking for a, a reliable source of vegetables to keep a sort of constant flow to make everything easier. So we can calculate how much we need, how much we're using and just keep, keep the restaurant going basically. And this system answered all those problems. How do you believe that having a tower farm will make your business more sustainable? Well, firstly, um, and the obvious advantage of the towers is the water saving. Mm -hmm. um, this year in Italy, we had uh, the worst drought in living memory. And since I've arrived, which has only been four years, there's just been uh, crazy weather. Um, so having this system will extract us from all the problems that were caused by the, uh, by the weather. So can you show me some of the amazing crops that you're growing in your tower farm here? Absolutely. We've got lettuce. Another type of lettuce, and uh, I'll show you the roots. Wow, the roots look so healthy. I have some red cabbage coming out. This is actually coriander. We have uh, as well some bok choy, which wow. is nearly ready to harvest. We're gonna harvest this uh, really, really soon, and we got the new one already in. This is chicory which is pretty healthy as well. I'll show you as well the root. Wow. Chicory is very good for, for salad. Uh, you, can, uh, you can put it in the pan and, uh, and just eat it uh, cooked as well. And uh, it's got a very nice taste. This is uh, cavolo nero, uh, called as well uh, Toscano kale in English. It's, uh, it's going blue, so it's a very good sign of a healthy plant. And in Italy, do you eat this raw or do you cook it? We cook it, we cook it. You can put it in the oven and do some chips, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Or you can put in soup. Uh, you can do as well uh, um, some risotto or just uh, put it as a, um, as a, as a side on, uh, on main courses. So it's, uh, you, you can use it in, in very different ways. This is uh, cauliflower. Cauliflower, so it's yeah. just getting started on. Huh? Yeah. 
So I see that you have a variety of crops growing here. I recognize this one, this is spinach, but yeah. uh, what is this one here? This is uh, very typical, it's Italian, it's called the cime di rapa. I love how you can grow different crops on the same tower like this, right? Yeah, that's one of the advantage of having a tower farm, that you can grow different crops on the same towers without any problem. It's uh, coste colorate, no, as well as uh, chard. We got the red one, the yellow one, and uh, just the normal uh, white one. Here we have a couple of tower with uh, fagiolini, which is beans in English. So I see that you're using this grow cage here to support the, the vines of the beans, right? Yes, Incredible. yes. So the crop can rely on the cage and all the fruits can come out without any stress. And right here we got the first flowers appearing yeah, with the beans? Yeah, they're coming out. Oh, so they're just about to come out, huh? Yeah. This is fava bean. It looks so vibrant and healthy. It's yeah. growing vigorously. Amazing. Yeah. This is the Italian variety of parsley, no? Yeah. It's called yeah. Giant of Italy? Giant of Italy, okay. yeah, correct. That's amazing. This is fennel, so we're growing fennel so you can obviously have uh, the vegetables but um, with the leaves and, uh, and, and this uh, we're gonna do pesto and you can use it as pa with pasta as uh, you normally use pesto but as well with uh, risotto which is give you a very nice and delica delicate flavor and um, the results uh, are very very good. What type of crops are you going to be growing throughout the year so that you can adapt with the seasons? So we're going to be growing a lot of um, basil, a lot of rocket, um, a lot of fennel, and they'll be turned into pestos and they'll be sold to clients. We're going to be doing a lot of tomatoes, hopefully make our own sauces, and that'll be another product that uh, clients can buy from us as well as all of our jams and all everything we do already. That sounds absolutely delicious. It makes me hungry just listening to it. <laughs>